The centuries-old passion of live capturing of birds, colloquially termed as trapping, is exercised at appropriately licensed trapping sites. The caught birds are kept alive and regarded by the trapper's family as part of their household. The captured birds adapt so well to captivity that they outlive their wild counterparts by many years. It is considered sacrilegious for any of these birds to be eventually killed for human consumption. Besides the very huntable birds, the most popular trapping occurs in autumn for seven finch species, which all enjoy a healthy conservation status in the wild. At present, the number of licensed trappers, cultural actors and members of a collective deep-rooted culture is in the region of 3,500, which number has been kept in check, because since 2009 no new licenses have been issued. The Federation for Hunting and Conservation, Malta, FKNK, a 32-year member of FACE, represents the absolute majority of Maltese trappers. Since Malta became a member state of the EU in 2004, live finch capturing, when permitted, has only been possible by the application of derogation under Article 9.1c from the Birds Directive, when the conditions dominated by the respective umbrella specification that there is no other satisfactory alternative solution were satisfied because Selectivity is guaranteed by manually operated traditional clap nets used, which also include further restrictions on the number of sites and live decoys, the net's mesh size and other. As Livingston E.H. 2012 in The Trapper's Bible wrote, the clap net is a favourite trap with bird fanciers. It is set in motion by a person watching it, who thus has the opportunity of leaving alone any birds that come within its range and are not suited for his purpose. The small numbers taken are controlled by bag limits, national, individual and daily, supplemented by real-time SMS reporting. Judicious use is made of the caught wild birds for song and calls, which can never be replaced by any captive bred bird, besides ensuring genetic diversity stock for captive breeding. Strict supervision is probably the best in Europe. As a result of the tiny size of the Maltese Islands, the real-time SMS bag reporting system, the innumerable roadblock checks that are carried out, and the fact that each and every duly registered trapping site and licensed trapper are spot-checked at one time or another. Notwithstanding, the European Court of Justice ruled against Malta, which permitted live finch capturing in the autumn of 2017, highlighting that insufficient data was available with regards to the countries which reference populations of finches migrate over the Maltese islands. During the Malta EU membership negotiations, it was agreed that traditional capture by means of traditionally personally operated nets of seven species of finches for the purpose of keeping them in captivity may continue, while studies would be carried out to determine the numbers that could be captured from the wild. Hence, for autumn 2020, the Maltese government, in close collaboration with the FKNK and also in order to address the European Court's concern, applied derogation under Article 9.1b of the Directive and embarked on a research study programme by the use of the traditional live finch capturing methods. The research was open to all licensed trappers and bird ringers who, after brief inspection for any ringing reference country data, immediately released all caught finches back into the wild. The FKNK has further plans to improve this research in future years. Apparently though, even this research study is not being looked upon favourably by the Commission. In the FKNK's humble opinion, the Commission should practice what it preaches, in that it should trust the data and reports that it receives from the Member State, and not always accept the opposing information supplied by BirdLife and its partners as gospel truth.